Have you ever wanted to easily convert your Adobe InDesign layouts to ebooks? With the right know how, it's super simple to do. Don't forget to subscribe to Envato Tips Plus for more free courses and tutorials. I'm Ashley Harrell, and in this tutorial, we'll look at three different ways you can quickly turn your designs into interactive PDFs or EPUBs ready for sharing or selling online. But before we begin, make sure you check out Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, and images like the one used in this tutorial. Subscribe now with the link in the description. First, let's take a look at how you can export your InDesign document as an interactive PDF. Creating an interactive PDF is very easy. They allow you to retain the original layout of your InDesign document along with your choice of fonts, text formatting, and master content. You can also add a dash of interactivity, such as hyperlinks, cross-references to other pages, movies, and page transition effects. Let's walk through the steps of adding one example of interactivity to your InDesign document. The first thing you want to do is highlight the text that you would like to hyperlink. Right-click, Hyperlinks, New Hyperlink. As you can see here, you can link to the page or you can link to other places like URLs. But in this example, I'm going to change my page number to page 10. The zoom setting should be fixed. The style should be hyperlink. And then you can click OK. Here you can see our highlighted text is now blue and it is underlined. Go to File, Export. In the Export to Interactive PDF window that opens, ensure that all of your pages is set to All. Check View After Exporting to view your design after export. In the Compression section, you can adjust the quality of your images within the PDF. Now let's add some security settings. Here I am going to require a password to open the document. This step is totally optional, but if you have certain information that you want to keep private so that only certain people can access, this is a great way to protect that information by including a password. As you can see here, my annual report has opened up in Adobe Acrobat and I went to page 8 and clicked on my hyperlink and it jumped all the way to page 10. Now I'm going to show you how to make an EPUB. As you can see here, my document is set up so that the intent is for web and I made sure that it's in single page format rather than spreads. Now we're going to set up paragraph styles. Paragraph styles allow you to create a table of contents. Let's start off with the body copy. Highlight the body copy and go to paragraph styles and click on create new style. Double click the paragraph style you just created and type body text for the style name. We're going to do this again, but this time we're going to name this one subheader. And for our last paragraph style, we will name this one header. Now that we have our paragraph styles, I will be applying these styles to the other pages. Now, if you want to insert images into your layout, you will need to ensure that they are anchored in place on the page. Go up to File, Place, and select your image that you would like to place. Now, here I am dragging out my image, but I'm going to copy this image and then place my cursor in between the two paragraphs or above the section, and I will paste my image where my cursor was. Now let's build our table of contents. Go to layout, table of contents. As you can see, my title is content. My style will be header. And I will include header into my paragraph styles. 
and for my entry style, I want to use body text and click OK. Click anywhere on the page to apply your table of contents. And if for any reason you decide to add more header sections, you can always go back to Layout, Update, Table of Contents. Now go to File, Export, and select EPUB Fixed Layout. Give your EPUB a name. As you can see in the general section, EPUB 3.0 is the more recent version. You can also choose a cover for your EPUB under the setup options. Now click on conversion settings. You can adjust the resolution of your images. I will be using 150 PPI. But if you decided to use 72 PPI, this will help to reduce the size of your EPUB once you export. Once you've finished tweaking your settings, go ahead and click OK. If you check the View EPUB after Exporting button, the EPUB will open up in your default program. Since I'm using a Mac, it opens in Books. Otherwise, you can navigate to the folder where the EPUB is saved and open it from there. If you would like to view your EPUB as reflowable, just go to File, Export, and select EPUB Reflowable. As you can see in the video, I stripped out the ribbon icons and red circles before exporting again. The reflowable version works best when the design is simple and not too complex. And that's how you create an ebook in InDesign. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new videos. I'm Ashley Harrell. Thanks for watching.